Let's begin with our first function, handle errors. It takes the response object as a parameter. Inside the function, we check if the OK property on the response is false, which means the fetch request was not successful. If this is the case, we throw an error with the response's status text, providing us with information about what went wrong. If no error is thrown, the function simply returns the original response object, indicating that everything is fine and the fetch request was successful. Now, the response OK property will be true for HTTP status codes in the range of 200 to 299, which are considered successful responses. Any status code outside of this range will cause the handle errors function to throw an error. Next, we have the fetch with error handler function. This is where we perform our fetch request by passing a URL. Immediately after the fetch request is initiated, we chain a then method that utilizes our handle errors function from earlier. Because handle errors is passed directly as a reference, it will be called with the response from the fetch if and when the promise resolves. If handle errors does not throw an error, it means our response is successful, and we can move on to the next then method. Here, we take the response object and call JSON on it. This method parses the response as JSON, which can then be used in subsequent code. This is a common pattern when dealing with APIs that return JSON data. However, if at any point our promise gets rejected, whether from the initial fetch request or from our handle errors throwing an error, the catch method at the end of the chain will catch it. Inside the catch block, we log the error to the console with a message fetch error. This way, you're informed of what went wrong during your fetch request. To summarize, this pattern provides a clear and effective way to handle both successful and unsuccessful HTTP requests when using the fetch API. By segregating error handling into its own function and using promise chaining, we can keep our code organized and easy to read.